guys, welcome back to Grace. You guys notice anything different? <laughs> I got some extensions. So these extensions are from Luxie Hair. These are high quality extensions, 100% real human. I'm wearing a swimsuit, you guys. So these hair actually come up to all the way like bottom. Like just love how I could like rock short hair if I want and then long hair if I want. I'll leave a link down below in the description so if you guys want to check out where I got these hair. So, do you guys believe in spirit and ghosts? I'm sure everybody has some kind of story involving, you know, the paranormal. Normal, seeing things that aren't explainable and I'm going to be talking about my encounters or my experiences with spirits and ghosts and some things that are in, like unexplainable so I didn't really believe in spirits and ghosts until like pretty recently they're not just your childhood images they're not just you're not just seeing things I do believe that there is you know a whole nother dimension and world out there of course that's your opinion if you believe in or not but after this video please let me know if you guys have any stories I don't really call them scary stories because I don't think these encounters are bad I honestly don't think encounters are bad, so. So number one, I'm gonna go to when I was really young. And this happened in Korea, and this is the freshest memory. So this had to be when I was like five, six, seven years old or something like that. I used to have sleep paralysis so much, like almost every other night or like at least a couple times a week, which is a lot up till when I was a middle school student and it kind of stopped you know when I was going into high school so when I was young I remember I would see like weird things like clowns and like elephants I remember this one distinct sleep paralysis where I was able to get up kind of like my spirit or my soul was able to get up but my body couldn't and I was like walking around the house and I would see you know certain people but anyway there was this one particular night I wasn't having sleep paralysis I wasn't dreaming because in Korea we used to live in an apartment and my dad would sleep in the living room and it was in the summer it was super hot super hot so a lot of the times I would get up from my room go to the living room to sleep with my dad because it was so hot in my room and one night I'm like shaking oh my god what the fuck is that noise I just heard like popping noise and I was like peeking through the door my door was open and I would always sleep on the edge of my door and if I just peek in I see my dad right there when you stare straight into the apartment there was like a big patio glass window and then i remember there we used to have like this small cabinet i saw a figure of a woman and it wasn't bad energy i think i'm pretty sure it wasn't bad she was kind of going like this and then she was kind of staring out the window and there was more like a shadowy figure um now looking back i feel like it was a beautiful figure like it was a woman figure and then when i looked i was like what the f <laughs> because as a young child you don't understand what's going on you never you, i was never taught about spirits or ghosts and things like that i remember the hairs on my head my whatever just stood up within that couple seconds i remember this figure kind of like turned around to look at me and i don't remember the face i believe it was more like shadowy figure obviously it was night everyone was sleeping so you know it was really dark but i could see the figure I could see she was turning around and she was like about to come towards me like she got up and that's when I was like oh I'm getting shivers oh my god talking about this and I remember that's when I just got so freaked out I was like I'm dreaming I'm dreaming I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming or hallucinating whatever and I remember I put the covers up on my head and I was like trying to sleep trying to sleep and I know I was not dreaming I was fully awake you know when you're awake and you're sleeping you know? I sweated even more because I was like what the hell did I just see somehow I just tried to forget about it because when these things happen you always try to forget you always try to think it's not real you know or whatever so I tried to go back to sleep and I remember probably like an hour or two later it was too hot i was like oh shit like i can't stay in my room it's too hot so i peeked out again to see if this figure was there and it wasn't there anymore so yeah i still have that clear memory so going back to sleep paralysis i told you guys yeah i had it and it kind of stopped around high school going into high school and you have these encounters when you're younger because you're closer to the other side so i do believe that's why maybe sleep paralysis kind of stopped for me around when i was kind of getting into an 
adult. Some people see scary things, but for me, the experience was of like not being able to move was scary, but I've never like seen like really scary things, at least not on top of my head, I remember. So the next thing that I clearly remember was, wow, okay, so this is kind of freaky now that I rethink about it. So the clear memory that I have of this encounter, so it was during middle school, I just remember I would take a lot of naps when I was younger. You know when you wake up from a nap or like in the middle of your sleep, you're like super tired so I remember I was super tired but I was awake I was fully awake and I was trying to go back to sleep and I would always or a lot of the times I would hear voices like usually it was a female voice and the counter that I remember the clearest there was these two female voices that was talking to each other yes I know I always thought this happened to everyone when you're like awake but super tired maybe like you're dreaming when you're awake so you would hear voices like I don't know I was trying to make any excuses that I can that made sense at the time I didn't know if they were talking to me or they were talking to each other but sometimes I would hear giggles so I remember I would get up like I would physically get up from the bed and I would try to hear if there was anyone upstairs or if I could or if there are people outside that were talking and the weird thing is when I would be up like sitting straight the voices would kind of disappear and when I would lay back down in bed but fully awake I would hear these voices again if anyone have any similar experiences or know any explanation to this please let me know again similar to this the next most clear memory is you know it was a morning um, I remember my parents weren't in the house because they, they work really early so I would wake up again similar but I would hear breathing noises like someone was sleeping although I live in an apartment it wasn't the type of apartment where you could hear breathing noises from upstairs like I, could, I can't even hear people talking so how am I supposed to to hear breathing noises or like sleeping noises or let's talk about orbs and I didn't believe in orbs until recently I feel like I did see something like I clearly did see something but yeah just listen up and I remember recently it was actually a couple months ago I was talking on a phone with a friend so this friend believes in you know the other side as well but we weren't talking about that but like the kitchen area is like right in my peripheral of my vision and I saw this like glowing tiny orb flashing across my eyes either my eyes or like in the kitchen area obviously when you have an eye boogie or you have hair in your eyes it doesn't look like flashing orbs and i remember it was a grayish bluish light around this orb and it just like flashed across and i was like huh so if you guys have seen anything or no explanations about this let me know down below so the recent interesting encounter so i remember i was in vegas with my girlfriend last last time that i was in so there was a living room and a bedroom so you know me and my friend love to talk about you know stuff like this because it's interesting so my friend was sleeping like in the living room area and i was sleeping in the bedroom and I remember before i woke up i did have interesting dream and i had like sp sleep paralysis really short and i haven't had sleep paralysis in a long time like this was one of the times that i had sleep paralysis which was interesting so i went to go check on my friend to see if she was awake she can't sleep you know if there's any lights you know for me i can't sleep if i hear any noise so i go and open the door to see if she was awake and there was one lamp light on and this lamp this hotel you have to physically switch the lamps you can't there's no like remotes or things like that so you have to physically switch on the lamp and my friend was like, still sleeping so after you know a couple minutes she came into my room you know she was like hey did you turn the lamp line on and I was like no I thought you just turned it on and went to sleep and she's like, no, I can't sleep with the lights on. Like, I noticed that the lamp light was on when she woke up because she turned all the lights off. And that was like, again, she didn't feel anything bad energy. It was actually a good sign, we think. Yeah, I don't know how lights, like physical lamp lights can turn on. Yeah. Now, this is one of the most recent, recent, recent encounters that I had. So again, we were at this hotel and the hotel was separated again and i was taking a nap before i had to you know take my flight back i remember i had this big water bottle and so i put it in one of the makeup like stalls you know what i mean of the makeup desk and i remember before i went to sleep i did go to the bathroom to put on my mask but i don't remember drinking the water and i remember i had earplugs on just so i could get some good sleep before i go on the plane so my friend all of a sudden barges in and she's like did you hear that? And she was being really loud, so I was like, huh? And she's like, I heard a loud bang from your side of the room. And I remember the door that splits her side and my side was completely open, so there's no way that 
um, we can mishear anything. And I was like, what do you mean? And she said, I heard something being thrown in my room, my side of the room. I guess I didn't hear it because I had earplugs on. But she was freaked out. Like, I was freaked out that she was freaked out. I'm like, yo, you don't get freaked out with these stuff. You're freaking me out. I was like, okay, let's forget about this. I don't want to get freaked out before, you know, I have to pack and things like that. So before I got to go to the bathroom, you know, I was kind of looking around the room. And I saw my water bottle. So my water bottle was like on the ground, just fallen. And it wasn't like near where I put it. It was like on the other side of the room. And I was like, wait. Why is the water bottle on the ground? So these hotels, it doesn't have windows where you could open up, so there's no wind flowing, like, there's nothing that could, like, move an object. And I tried to remember, I was like, did I drink water? And even if I did, why did I put it on the other side of the room? Like, there's no way that made sense. Till this day, we don't know exactly what went on, but we believe, or she believes that some object was thrown anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below what you think about all these things and if you guys have any encounters or any stories that you could tell i love reading this but i don't want to read it during the night because yeah see you guys next time bye